if you can find either one. Uh, next up, we're going to talk to one of the gentlemen here, and, and, and i got to tell you, listening to this album with headphones on, or earplugs, or pods, or whatever they call them now, uh, I'm, I'm hearing our next guest more clearly than I ever have, but I'm not going to introduce him. I'm going to let Elvis introduce him. On the lead guitar is James Burton. is Ronnie Tucker. And the friend of the bass, Jerry Schiff. And the piano is Glenn Hart. Stage. First of all, welcome back to Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. We spent a lot of time together. Yes. And most of the stuff is true that we say. Yes. We're going to talk right now a little bit about Aloha from Hawaii 50 years ago this year. Couldn't be. Couldn't possibly be. <laughs> Could <laughs> I've done the math. It involved a lot of gazintas, but I was able to figure it out. Tell me your memories of, uh, of, when did you guys find out, when did the TCB band find out, hey, we're going to do this thing in Hawaii? When did you find that out? Well, actually, I believe we went over there in October and played uh, in that venue. Yeah. As I remember, I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, just to f be familiar with the place yeah. and familiarize yeah. Elvis with it. Uh, but uh, we all had a good time doing the show. It was very enjoyable, and Elvis was pretty well perfect. Yeah. It looked pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. W was there anything different? Because you guys had already had, you know, tours in Vegas, and you were already a, a, a unit working together. Was there anything different about this concert than there was about the other shows that you were doing up until that time. Did you approach it differently? Oh, I think we had some different songs in there. I, I believe I, um, as I remember, I arranged five mm -hmm. for the Aloha special, so we had some some different songs, that, um, and even more than that, that five. Yeah, but all in all, just kind of a, a, a normal show for Elba. Did you feel like he was under any more pressure for this than, uh, I would have been a little nervous if I'd known the entire world was going to be seeing. What about you guys? Well, uh, that's the question uh, people always ask. Uh, is it, I know this sounds silly, but to us, it just seemed like another TV gig, <laughs> really, because it was like this here, you know, you can't really see the audience very well, and, um, it was freezing cold in there, as I remember. And uh, we could see the camera people and the red lights uh, would come on. And otherwise, I mean, so it was just like doing TV, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Elvis is so comfortable, at one point he throws a glass of water on you, so obviously he wasn't that nervous. Yes. He was known to be a prankster a little yes. bit on stage. Yes, he was. As a musician for you, um, I've been with you before listening to Elvis music. Um, you've worked with so many different artists. What was there about Elvis's voice and connection to the lyrics that might have been different than the way another artist would approach a song? Um, that's a tough one because he, he just had some very special way of doing it. And I, I'm not sure I could unravel that for you because of, it was something wonderful, and even I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, just a mat. You can't explain magic, right? You know. Yeah. For you, as a musician, you uh, you still continue to uh, to go around the world playing Elvis's music. Sometimes with him on the big screen. You told me one time, man, he, he continues to look great, and we just keep getting older and older. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, what yeah. is it about that connection that you still have with him, even though he's on tape or on digital or whatever they do with it? Do you still have that, that connection with him when you play? Well, I, yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, it I'll, looks like it, yeah. Yeah. And I go play his music with people in Europe, you know, yeah, uh, quite often. Gonna go in January. There's a gentleman over there named Dennis Chael. Uh, been working with for about 20 something years in a row. And we do a, a, quite a bit of Elvis stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy working. <laughs> and, and I'm not ever gonna stop, by the way. There you go. You guys in the TCB band have a special relationship with, uh, with the fans, you know. You were guys that, when I was buying the albums and the 8-tracks, your names weren't listed, you know. I never, except when Elvis, you know, introduced you, which must have been pretty cool to be on the record, Elvis, you know, like we just saw, introducing you. But we've gotten to know you guys over the years, all the TCB guys. You have a, a special relationship with the fans. Tell me about what you think about the Elvis fans who have now, obviously, then and now become TCB band fans and Glenn D. Harden fans. Well, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is nice, it really is nice. Thank you all for coming. Uh, and you know what, if I, I never go downtown in Nashville, uh, it's just too busy down there and too crowded and too drunk down there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, every, every time I, I do, which is not very often, uh, foreign people, believe it or not, find, seem to find me and it, it amazes me. So, Glendy Hart, Glendy Hart. Yeah, they catch me and uh, they're yeah. from all over the world and it amazes me. It's a great yeah. thing. I You're enjoy not, that, yeah. You're famous, Glenn. Uh, that's what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I will ask you that question Elvis asked you one time. What kind of name is Glenn DeHarden? <laughs> one of the things we love about you is, is you're always available for the king and you're gonna be a part of the Aloha special concert tomorrow night. And Andy, Andy Charles is putting that together once more for the fans. What can you tell us about what's gonna to happen tomorrow night? You're just gonna be back with the King on keyboards for a while? Yes, and I'm gonna do like I did on the original one, just kind of sit back and then watch, watch it flow and enjoy myself like I always do. There you go. Glenn D. Hart.